Hi, everybody. I am surrounded by stuff. And this is a Vlogmas video where I'm uploading every day in December. Originally, I wasn't going to film my first plan with me in this planner. However, with my uh, family's recent uh, COVID moment, um, I decided to stop vlogging for the rest of December and just make videos and a plan with me actually seemed like a really good idea. And this is the first week in this new planner. So I am excited about that. I am filming this a little ahead of time though. So, um, there will be some things I'm not putting in here like the weather and I'm still kind of feeling out how I'm going to be using this planner in certain ways. Starting dialysis in a couple weeks will be kind of the thing that really helps me figure out sort of how I want to use this. We'll just see how far we can get with it. So this is my Moxie Life Vertical Flagship Planner and it has my collab cover on it. In 2023 I'll be on a no buy and I'll leave that video linked below and I'm starting the year off kind of in that spirit. I'm using the 2022 Celebrations Collection uh, New Year's page. Then I decided to just go through what I already had, pull out some leftover stickers, and other things that I think might match, as well as some washi tapes that I already had. Stay tuned in the next few weeks because I'm gonna have some videos showing you what I have left and what I'll be starting the year out with. I love this Simply Gilded washi tape with like the sparkles. It's just so pretty and I think it goes really well with this whole reach for the stars kind of idea with this New Year's kit. So I've got a couple rolls of Simply Gilded washi tape. All the stickers are from Chrissy Ann Designs. Tombow Whiteout, my Artist Loft palette knife that I use to cut washi tape. If I cut any stickers, I have a slice tool right here. And the pens I'm using, I'm gonna go a little thicker this week. I'm gonna go with the Uni Pin pigment ink, which is the one I've been experimenting with in my work planner. And then for the Christian Design stickers, I am going to go with the O3 Uni, where to go? The O3 Uni Pin oil-based marker. So we'll see how this looks. This is kind of an experimental week, which is good. I don't have a lot going on. I will be doing some work this next week, but not very much. Um, I usually like to take this time off. Now, Jesse was originally going to take this week off because we thought I was starting dialysis on the 2nd, but now that I'm starting on the 9th, um, he is taking the week previous to dialysis off first, so I'll probably just be taking little bits off here and there. There is also a kitty on my desk if you haven't figured that part out yet. I think what I'm going to do is actually put this washi tape up high because then... It'll still look like the stars are sprinkling down on the date covers. And I did tell myself I wasn't going to go quite as ham with the date covers this year because I want to avoid the massive sticker bump that I was basically developing in my previous planner, which was the Moxie Life six months. And so it was only half of the length of this puppy. And yet it was a chunky motherfucker by the end of it. So... Like it occurred to me that if I continued on doing things exactly the same way I was doing them, sooner or later my shit was going to look heinous. So I'm going to go with these dark date covers, I think. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like that. I like these colors. The purples and like the periwinkles and the blue, like the periwinkles, purples, pinks. Very pretty. And I kind of like how this is looking with the stars sprinkling down on the uh, date covers. Hi, little man. Odin is currently on my little couch, which is nice because lately he has been spending a lot of time sneaking into my closet. First, I would like the big storage closets I've got down here in the basement where I have my office. But, you know, I was worried about him going in there. I didn't want him getting all like dusty and scuzzy and if there's any spideys or anything in there. I didn't want to worry about him, but he kept going in. Even if I closed it, he figured out, I shit you not, how to jimmy the door open with his head. Like, what? <laughs> and so I figured maybe my best bet was to just ignore him and see if he got bored with it. And maybe he did because the door currently is cracked and he is on the couch cleaning himself and just chillaxing like a G. So... Maybe, maybe ignoring. I mean, that worked with my kids. Why? I don't see why I wouldn't work with my kitten. <laughs> Not ignoring my kids on the regular. I mean, sometimes I did. But ignoring them when they were doing something that was annoying to me, but at the same time, like, 
didn't have to like redirect them in that very moment. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find, I know I have some, I know I have some like, we, um, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like this week, these stickers right here. I'm gonna see if I've got one in a good color for this kit. This blue will work. And then what I will use is this pink one from the leftover stickers to be my habit tracker. A little, little buddy right there. And maybe what I'll do is take this This Year I Will sticker and set it right on top of the habit tracker. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, let me date this motherfucker. Let me just peel this sucker off. Because that's always satisfying. And I covered up the dates before I could remember what they were. Oh, it's whatever. Monday's the 26th. It's my husband's birthday. I should remember that. It's a busy week for us. We have, it's right after Christmas. My husband's birthday is the day after Christmas. And my oldest kid's birthday is the day before New Year's Eve. So it's a very jam-packed week in this family. And then on top of that, because we're all, the COVID recovery is strong. As I'm filming this currently, I have not caught it, but my husband has it and my son had it. So far, myself and my oldest have not had it. So we'll see if that continues. But in the meantime, everything I'm putting on this planner for next week is gonna be fairly in flux in case the COVID hangs on longer than expected. Specifically, I have a mammogram and RJ has a dentist appointment uh, and we have a dinner date scheduled with the kids all right so we got this part in um and then i'm going to take this skinny washi tape and actually no i'm going to use this Ooh, this one's very satisfying because there's so many tiny little cuts i think i lost one sticker in that it was a star where to go i found it it was still cut out it just because it was so small it got kind of caught in the excitement yeah, I'm gonna use this. And with this one, I definitely am gonna use the slice tool. The vinyl stickers don't really get cut with the um, palette knife. I cut the paper. No. Right, that's in. I'm gonna put the weekend sticker in. And put it down here at the bottom, I think. I don't like how it looks connected to the, to the, um, to the washi tape up here. And then what I'm gonna do is put in the uh some washi tape to divide off a um where is it this one to divide off a to-do list area by putting it up here putting the weekend down here what it does is it kind of shrinks down my to-do list for the weekend which is kind of how i like it because either my weekends are super busy and if that's the case i'll probably just make a to-do list on a notepad or they're not super busy. I don't need that much space. So having the weekend sticker down there is fine. I'm also gonna really quick put my habits in. Now they're not fully fleshed out yet. I still have to get them figured out for January, but there's a handful I know I'm gonna be carrying over and that is water, bedtimes, etc. And I'm just gonna try and keep my habits a little lower this year, maybe for some of it at least, just because, um, just because I'm going to be so busy in the first few months trying to establish a dialysis practice that establish my dialysis that I uh, just want to, it's not going to fit there. I just want to be careful with how I uh, do things. And actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to cover this habit tracker up because even if I have different habits in the new year, it's just one day. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to take this 2023 sticker. And this little one that says more of this, less of that. Because I feel like that is um, appropriate for the new year. More of this, less of that. There we go. I like that. Okay. And then down here, I'm going to add some little decorations. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six stars. And then we'll do a... Uh, or maybe we'll bookmark it with fireworks just to um, cover up the little hearts for the meal planning. And the meal planning is not going to go in quite yet because, again, like I said, it's still pretty early. And I just need to um, kind of assess where shit is going to be at. Except I know that we're going to be going out for Sunny's birthday on Friday. Because I already have those reservations. 
sushi that would be on Friday. Okay, now that we've got that in, this is very sparkly and I'm very happy with how sparkly it is. Okay, let's start with Monday. Monday is Jesse's birthday. I should grab my celebrations collection as well. It's Monday, is, Monday is Jesse's birthday. I had two birthdays this week, so having the celebrations collection. I'm using the 22 one since that's what kit I'm using. All right, so we'll do this celebrate. We've got these little stickers back here. So I'm gonna use one of these. Well, balloon animal sticker. Actually, that's, I don't really want that to ride up. Like I said, I don't have a lot of plans because of the, the Rona. So, but I can't really estimate. I'm having trouble estimating how big this is going to be. So right there. Yeah, that'll do. Hashtag removable stickers for the win. So that'll be for Jesse's birthday. And then RJ has a dentist appointment at do I have some good teeth stickers this is this is gonna be an interesting year because I'm gonna be going through like all of my shit to uh find matching stickers for this entire situation the other thing I'm not putting in here yet are Layla's walks because she hasn't uh we haven't gotten that close yet so I'm just gonna leave space but I'm going to put this little sticker down here for RJ's dentist appointment. And then that is everything I have on Monday so far. So I'm just going to leave it there. Like I said, this is not going to be, it's going to be a little bit of a bear plan with me, but you'll get to see what this looks like when I'm done. I'll make sure to show you in the next week of plan with me. Jesse is 36. And then I'm going to add in my plant I should get a, I never even grabbed a matching, a matching uh, dot pen. I'm gonna use this old favorite. This is the, uh, uh, what color are you? Splash. So I'm gonna just put plants. Wait, do I have? No, my therapist appointment is the week after that. Okay. Just, I know I put it on my calendar and so it's not, I'm not looking at it, but at the same time I was like, what? And that's all I've got currently. For Monday. It's going to be a very light week so far. Tuesday, I have nothing on the schedule. I have no patron, no patron live streams because I'm taking some of this week off. But I think the big thing I really want to work on on Tuesday is really start fleshing out the plan for my dialysis room and even getting the, uh, I'm going to put it down here, even getting the, um, registry for a kidney shower up as well. Always add an exclamation point if you run out of space or you have too much space. So I don't know if I'm gonna get the room planned out fully, but I wanna start the planning for my dialysis room on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, um, the cleaners are coming in the morning and I have a phone call as well. So we'll take you and put you there and we'll use a I grabbed some of these little Steve's from my mini binder, Christian Designs. This also means because the cleaners are coming that I want to be sure to grab cash and I want to make a note to grab extra because I would like it to, I would like to give them a nice holiday bonus for being fucking awesome. And the cash is for their tip. The check is for the payment for the services rendered. I'm really liking using the 03 size right now. It's a little chonkier, but I'm enjoying it. Just writing the bonus part down there as well, just to remember it so I don't forget. And then I'm going to have a phone call at 10. Just digging into all of my, all of my leftover stickers. Really trying to remember which one is which. The gray is the oil, the black is the not oil. And that's everything I've got on Wednesday so far. Then Thursday is the most exciting of days because I'm getting my mammogram. <laughs> the most exciting of days. I'm gonna use a Happy New Year sticker for that to, cel to celebrate taking care of my 
my annual exams. After putting my mammogram in, I remembered that I had two items then that I had to put on my to-do list. One is checking in for said mammogram. The other is to message my transplant nurse coordinator. Uh, they can order certain tests through the transplant center that they want me to do, but since the mammogram is an annual exam, I have to schedule that and they don't always get the notification that it's done. So she just wants me to shoot her a message. It's all in the same system, so it'll pop up eventually. But just to keep things flowing, that is the uh, the hope. Okay, moving forward. Friday is Sunny's birthday, so we're going to do another birthday moment here. This time... Oh, there were balloons on here. I should have just used those for the birthday. Oh, well, whatever. Um, we're going to go to the front again, and I'm going to grab the purple and pink little birthday friend. And then I'll grab the purple or the pink. Let's do the pink. We'll do the pink, um, pink animal balloon. And this time we're going to go in like this to make sure that everything is in one spot. Cannot believe my kid is turning 19. I cannot believe I am old enough to have a 19 year old kid. So the only thing that we have currently on our calendar for Friday is going to dinner at um, our favorite sushi place, which is called Sushi Den. And it is not a place we go to on the regular. We have a, a place, a couple places we'll go to for like just a lunch or whatever. Because Sushi Den is very expensive, but it's worth it. Like the, it's it's way it's the best sushi I've ever had. Um, but because it's pricey, it's not a regular. And also, you have to like either wait in line for eighty five years to get in, or make your reservation right when they open, and they open three weeks in advance. So I had this on my calendar to get Sunny's reg reservation, which I did. And actually, even though there's already balloons there, I'm gonna add another one over. Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. All right, and I don't actually have any plans for the weekend. Um, we'll probably just stay home. So what I think I'm going to do is just put these stickers. We were originally going to try and maybe have some friends over, but it's just, it's kidney failure has already been taken out of me. And then this past week just kind of was the cherry on top of an already exhausting fucking day. So I'm just going to. Slap these guys here. Leave for the weekend. Leave a little space in case I want to add something. And put this January 1st sticker right here at the top. Because it's January 1st. <laughs> I am going to grab a laundry basket. Because even though it's New Year's, I still plan to wash my sheets. Plus, I also want to put in a um, plant check-in on Friday. Now, as for my sidebar, this past year, I've really used it just to make like any list I need to make. If I'm going to like Costco or something, that is the wrong fucking dot pen. Damn it. Already living my best lifestyle. Where the hell is one I've been using? Oh, there it is. Okay. Thankfully, I think it's a little darker, so it works. Okay. Um, but... I don't know how I'm going to use it exactly this year, so I'm not there yet. In the meantime, this is the start of my week. I really like how it's looking. It is a little more chaotic to go digging through all of my stickers to try and find some that will potentially match. But, you know, I guess that's just the way the, way the cookie crumbles, as they would say on Bruce Almighty. You know, one thing I am thinking is that it is going to behoove me to... Make sure to uh, go through and uh, put my stickers away and refresh them every week so that like all these random sheets I have flying everywhere so that my shit life doesn't turn into an utter shit storm. Do you have plans for the new year? Are you just going to be staying home? Are you um, sick like our family is? Do you uh, 
have anything exciting coming up in 2023? Or are you just like, fuck, let's get this year over with? Because I'm kind of in that boat. I'm like, fuck 2020 at this point. <laughs> fuck 2020. And I'm both hopeful and very trepidatious about 2023. So let me know in the comments below about your New Year's plans. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my friends, peace.